um, this week um, it is alpha week uh, 9 until 13 of november as today is 11 november okay chapter 6 acid and base and salt uh, 6.10 effect of heat on salt action of heat on carbonate nitrate salts this is the subtopic of this topic effect effect of heat on salt testing the effect of heat okay do refer to your handout it's um page nine please okay at the bottom one gases are often produced from reaction carried out during laboratory tests on salt so by identifying the gases evolved it is possible to infer the types of cations and anions that are present in a salt finally you could um, uh, recognize what is the name of the salt given table 3 refer to table 3 the table shows the tests and the results of different gases so we start with the four gases which is oxygen gas is the common gas so the test um, you should start your test by using um, kata kerja okay uh, verb yes put a glowing wooden splinter into the test tube glowing meaning uh, berbara tak ada api dia bara sahaja into the test tube yes, yes. when we say into the test tube it should be into the test tube just near the um, the reactant okay the result wooden splinter is rekindled or relight please use the word re eh? re maksudnya dia ada api asalnya lepas tu terpadam and become glowing dan bila kita letakkan ke dalam test tube it will be relighted maksudnya menyala semula rekindle or relighted okay tapi dalam sebenarnya susah juga nak dapat kan uh, okay bila um, dia just macam semakin terang pun is okay very good observation okay for hydrogen gas near a lighted wooden splinter to the mouth of the test tube it just at the mouth of the test tube and the pop sound is heard Okay. For carbon dioxide gas, bubble the gas produced into lime water. Uh, beside bubble, you may use a channel, flow the gas. Okay, And the result, which is the observation, the lime water turns milky, chalky and cloudy. Uh, I need you to choose one word only, either milky, chalky or cloudy. Uh, finally, uh, it's not finally, number four, it's ammonia gas. Uh, you just put moist red limus paper into the test tube. And the red limus paper will turn blue. Okay, the first four. Uh, let us classify the, the the character of the gas. Meaning, uh, either the gas is uh, acidic, alkali, or neutral. Okay, for the first one, oxygen. Oxygen is a neutral gas. Okay, you just put the words neutral here. Okay, on your handout. A hydrogen gas is a neutral gas. Carbon dioxide. Okay, acidic gas. How about ammonia? Ammonia, it turned red limus paper to blue. So, ammonia is alkaline gas. Alkaline gas. Okay, next page. Okay, the next uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, chlorine gas, hydrogen chloride gas, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide. Now, we go to chlorine gas first. Put blue litmus paper into the test tube. The moist blue litmus paper turned to red. And then turn to white. Actually, uh, in our lab, you cannot see the red color. It just uh, show blue and then turn to white. Actually, when you um, write down the observation, you should state the three stages. Okay, the blue limus paper. Okay, remember moist blue limus paper turn to red. That one is the second stage, and then turn to white. Okay, why chlorine gas could change the blue limus paper into red and then turn to white? It shows that chlorine gas is uh, acidic gas, but the white one, it shows that chlorine gas is, um, uh, what we call it as, uh, what? Ah, oh, yes, bleach, bleaching, bleaching properties. You know, a uh, Clorox bleach, a uh, Clorox bleach. So, uh, Clorox, number of Clorox, can so dalam ni ada hypochlorous acid. So the chlorine gas is a has a bleaching properties. Okay. Now we go to the, I think, for uh, six gases. 
hydrogen chloride kalau tengok formula sama dengan hydrochloric acid but in gases we call it as hydrogen chloride oh hydrogen chloride hydrogen chlorine gas aduh i think it's, it's supposed to be hydrogen chloride gas okay put a drop of concentrated ammonia solution into a test tube okay is it into a test tube Okay, please refer to your uh, buku Amali. Eh? I think it's supposed to be at the mouth of the test tube. Okay, let me check first. Oh, oh deep okay, so the whole the, the, Okay, uh, it states and in the books, hold the deep, uh, deep glass rod to the mouth of the test tube. Yes, it is at the mouth of the test tube. Okay, just make it right, okay. Uh, put a drop of concentrated ammonia solution into um, at the mouth of the test tube, okay? It will produce white fumes. Sulfur dioxide, bubble the gas, blow the gas, channel the gas, produce into the purple color of acidified potassium manganese 7 solution. So the purple color of potassium manganese 7 solution will become colorless or will become decolorized, okay? You may use those two words, either the decolorizes or um become colorless next one nitrogen dioxide you just put moist blue lumens paper into the test tube so the moist blue lumens paper turn to red now the the this the the character either the acidic alkaline or um neutral gases so for chlorine it is um acidic gas okay um hydrogen chloride gas is acidic okay then sulfur dioxide is acidic and in the future you will find out that that sulfur dioxide is also a reducing agent for the next one five chapter okay in redox and last one nitrogen dioxide is acidic okay action of heat on carbonate salt okay so just refer to your handout in page 10 we have the first two, carbonate salt, which is potassium carbonate and sodium carbonate. Those two carbonate salt are not decomposed by heat. So they have a very strong um, bond between the K plus and CO3 to minus. So they just not decomposed by heat. The rest, which is calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate, aluminum carbonate, zinc carbonate, iron, two, iron 3 carbonate, lead 2 carbonate, and copper 2 carbonate. It will decompose on heating to produce carbon dioxide and metal oxide. For example, here I have calcium carbonate. It will produce calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Okay, next one, I have another uh, equation, uh, another three actually. We have magnesium carbonate. It will produce magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. Zinc carbonate, it will produce zinc oxide, carbon dioxide. Copper carbonate, it will produce copper oxide and carbon dioxide. Okay, just um, alert with um, zinc oxide and copper oxide. And also another one is lead carbonate, it will produce lead oxide. Those zinc oxide, copper oxide and lead oxide, will uh, they have um, very special color. Okay, for zinc oxide and lead oxide, they have special color when hot and when cool. Do find the color. Okay. While copper oxide, copper carbon is green color. After we heat uh, strongly, it will produce copper oxide uh, in black color. Copper oxide is black color. So those special substances are very glamorous in our exams paper. Okay. Okay, next one, mercury to carbonate, silver carbonate, and gold to carbonate. It will decompose on heating to produce oxygen gas, carbon dioxide gas, and metal. For example, we have Hg. Hg is mercury. Actually, Hg is hydrogenium. Okay, hydrogenium carbonate. Uh, we just call it as mercury to carbonate. Okay, it will produce mercury, carbon dioxide, and oxygen. Same goes to silver carbonate. Um, it will produce uh, silver carbon dioxide and oxygen okay try to write down the equation for gold to carbonate dose number two actually is the is the charge for gold gold is au so au two plus combined with carbonate so the formula will be au co3 
and it will produce AU, CO2 and oxygen. Okay, dah keluar dah pun. AU, CO3, AU, CO2 and oxygen. Try to write the equation, okay? Last one. Okay, this is ammonium carbonate. Kenapa kita asingkan daripada kotak-kotak lain? Sebab produk dia berbeza ya. Eh? Kalau yang tadi awal-awal tadi semuanya menghasilkan carbon dioxide and oxygen. Same goes to mercury. Sorry, sorry. Oh, just menghasilkan metal oxide and carbon dioxide. But those three menghasilkan carbon dioxide and oxygen and those metal. Dia tak menghasilkan metal oxide. But another one, the special carbonate salt is ammonium carbonate. It will decompose on heating to produce ammonia gas. Carbon dioxide gas and water. Those ammonia gas is alkaline gas. Next one, action of heat on salt, on nitrate salt, sorry. Oh, same on table. Just turn to page 11. Okay, we have potassium nitrate, sodium nitrate. Uh, both two nitrate salt will be decomposed, but it will produce Potassium nitrate, for example, potassium nitrate, okay? Potassium nitrate, it will produce potassium, is it nitrate? What's this? Nitrite, okay, the spelling is here, okay? Metal nitrite. NO3 one minus is nitrate, NO2 one minus is nitrite. So, potassium nitrate will produce potassium nitrite plus oxygen. How about sodium nitrate? Sodium nitrate will be decomposed to produce sodium nitrite and oxygen, okay? The next one, oh, we have lots here, but in your handout, I just put the arrow. Okay, try try to write down the formula. Formula pun boleh kalau malas nak eja. Formula is good, but make sure you write down the correct formula. Calcium nitrate, magnesium nitrate, aluminium nitrate, zinc nitrate, iron 3 nitrate, lab 2 nitrate, and copper 2 nitrate. It will decompose on heating to produce oxygen gas, nitrogen dioxide gas, and metal oxide. Okay, here is the familiar gas, nitrogen dioxide. Could you please tell me what what is the color of nitrogen dioxide? Do they have color? Yes, they do. So what is the color? Yes, you're correct. Tak tahu lah siapa yang correct tu kan? It is brown color gas, okay? And it actually is a pungent and quite poisonous gas, okay? Um, do we have any other examples of the oh, okay <laughs> okay so we move to the next three um nitrate salt mercury to nitrate silver nitrate and gold to nitrate okay uh, those three nitrate salt will be decomposed on heating to produce oxygen gas nitrogen gas and metal okay so metal nitrate uh, which is mercury nitrate silver nitrate aurum nitrate kalau you present ni semua yang kat bawah-bawah dalam ECS okay what is ECS? Electrochemical series. We don't follow the muscle form 3. So you will get metals here. Nitrogen dioxide gas, of course, and oxygen gas. What is the difference between those at the um, at the top previously? Oh, the previous metal produced metal oxide. Here it is just metal. Okay, that's the difference. Last one for nitrate salt, uh, for ammonium carbonate. Why is carbonate here? <laughs> okay, this is wrong. So dear, write down, uh, uh, just refer to your handout. It is ammonium nitrate, not ammonium carbonate, okay? Ammonium nitrate. So, it decomposes on heating to produce nitrous oxide gas and water. Okay, I love nitrous oxide gas. If you watch Fast and Furious um, uh, action film, it's about the, the racing car. They, they use the nitrous oxide. It has a commercial name. Uh, we call it as NOS. N-O-S. Actually, it's nitrous dioxide. Sorry, nitrous oxide, which is N2O. Guess apa tu? Ah, cari apa dia? N-O-S gas. Okay? Which is nitrous oxide gas. Then you know what is the uh, usage of nitrogen, nitrous oxide gas. Okay. Action of heat on sulfate salts. Oh, thank God. You just... Only a few, okay. Only a few sulfate salts decompose when heated strongly. For example, we have iron to sulfate. Apa ni? Titik tujuh air ni, okay. So we pronounce it like this: iron to sulfate hydrated. You tak perlu sebut with the seven water inside it. Ah, tak perlu. It's just iron to sulfate hydrated. 
hydrated maksudnya berair berair ok when heated strongly it will produce iron three oxide this is iron three oxide this is iron two sulfate macam mana saya tahu two dengan three ha, you kena agak ya bukan kena agak you kena ada ilmu lah why we need three oxide ok because Fe is three plus it's just butterfly method ok Nombor tiga ni dapat daripada charge of the iron which is 3 plus. Nombor dua dapat daripada charge of oxide which is 2 minus. So, butterfly method, you will become, uh, you will produce Fe2O3 or iron trioxide. And what we call this, sulfur dioxide. Yang ni, sulfur trioxide lah. Dioxide, trioxide. And water. That is the product when you um, heat it strongly the iron to sulfate. Okay, next one. We have zinc sulfate, it will produce zinc oxide and sulfur trioxide. Next one, we have copper sulfate. When heated strongly, it will produce copper oxide and sulfur trioxide. What is the color of copper oxide again? Yeah, black color. How about zinc oxide? When hot, it is yellow color. Yes, very good. And how about cool? When cool, it is white color. Okay, very good. Macam suara sayur je. Okay, next one, iron, what is we call this? Uh, yes, iron tree sulfate. This is iron tree sulfate. And it will, you will produce iron to oxide and sulfur trioxide. We have other, yes, I think this is the last one. It's ammonium sulfate. It will produce uh, ammonia gas and sulfuric acid, yes. Action of heat on chloride salts. Oh, thank God. All chloride salts are not decomposed by heat. Oh, exception for one, which is ammonium chloride. Now, the equation for ammonium chloride. This is ammonium chloride. It will produce ammonia in HCl. Boleh beza tak apa maksud? Ammonium and ammonia. Ammonia is a compound. Neutral charge. Tak ada charge. How about ammonium? Ammonium in is NH4+. So, bila gabung dengan Cl-, so, dia jadi NH4, Cl-. Okay, very good. So, nampak latihan kat buku surat 12 tu? Tak nampak. Okay, tengok nampak ya latihan kat buku surat 12. Ah, bersambung ye. Eh. Okay, I have six questions I need to to write. Uh, tulis dia dekat kertas tu, buku surat 12 tu. Snap it and send it to me through telegram. So, this is your homework for this week. It will contribute to your PNG marks and this week attendance. Okay, um, do PM me. Sebab nanti kalau dah letak ramai-ramai dalam tu, saya dah tak boleh detect dah. Dan sekali lagi, bila saya dah, dah tanda semua, saya akan letak kat sini lah. Saya takut macam biasa lah, takut tertinggal. Okay. Okay, have a great holiday. Bangun. Jangan tak bangun. Okay, thank you.